first of all, my first words is for my team. I am um, uh, proud with uh, with them performance. Um, they show here today that uh, when we are organized, when we play passion, we uh, can be and we are um, a strong team, in my opinion. Um, this match, um, despite we lose, we are in half time. Okay, so it is a this stage of the Conference League is to two games, two matches. We are in half time now, and we are in half time losing one nil. Um, but uh, we have uh, everything open to to try to fight for for uh, to go forward on this stage. Um, about the match, we work create some create some chances, of course, because they they have uh, better individual quality, and also because that individual quality comes, of course, because they have much more budget than us. So it, it is what it is, and we need to understand this also. But despite that, we um, fight very good. Um, we create our chances, we have our chances to score. Uh, we need to have more criteria on, uh, on the finish zone. Uh, in our organiz in uh, defensive organization, we were very good. And um, they score one nil, but I am trying here to remember uh, another or other situations for uh, to finishing and and I don't remember uh, no one uh, only the goal coach your defensive line it was Vidas Leviskas who is a left back it was Povelas Leivonas <coughs> who is uh, holding midfielder and it was Alexander Zhivanovich who is 35. How hard it was for them in this game to, to defend because you guys were defending like m most of the time? Um, before the match I joke with them because all together, all together they have more than 100 years old. Um, but um, despite the age they work every day very good to 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 be fit all the time um, they are mature players and on this match the team also needs mature players okay and um, what i can say they were organized they played good uh, against a strong opponent for example, I already told this on the press conference, the, the other press conference. For example, they have Grot two seasons ago played the, did 23 or 25 matches on, on Leeds United on Premier League. But today, despite this, let's call individual quality, I cannot uh, say that uh, Viborg was better than, than Sudova. They had more ball, of course, but... Uh, the game is not about uh, ball possession, it's about who scores more goals. You had the first minutes for Milan Jokic. How did you like his performance? How does he fit the team already? Milan, Milan did, uh, in my opinion, did a good performance. Uh, it's important to understand that Milan only is uh, starting, uh, was starting to train with us in two weeks and he come from vacations of course he need uh, to work uh, much more to improve probably in the next three four weeks he will start to get to be on his better shape but for what i saw it is a player that can help a lot the team because he's also mature there he's aggressive he understand the moment so on the game when we should have calm with the ball uh, and also he had these kinds of uh, profiles helps also the other players to to grow up um, to grow up uh, them, them performance to increase them performance on the pitch
Coach, it's interesting about Almeida, your newcomer. He came as a right back, but now he plays in offense. So how would you explain the, these changes in his position? Um, he's, not, he's not changing position because uh, for, I can say, for example, uh, Tiago Almeida, uh, with 21 years old, he was uh, forward. Okay, After step by step on his career, he started to play like a winger and after uh, like a, like a, a right fullback, but he knows how to play as a, as a, a forward also. Um, on this match, we already knew that we need to be very good on the tactical way, uh, and Thiago understands uh, the game very good. He understood very very well that the tactical missions that he need to to do to help the team. We do, we need also to understand that uh, Viborg finish the match with uh, five players or four five players with more uh, than um, 185 high. And uh, we need also players that can be strong on the set pieces, free kicks, corners, and Thiago is a player that, uh, that despite don't have this kind of uh, height, he, he's uh, good with the head and we need to keep him until to, to the match finish because he's a player that uh, understanding very well the tactical missions that he needs to do. And the situation with the goal, how did you see it? Uh, how, how did it, the goal come? Why did it happen? How did it happen? How do you see it? You know, of course, on the match, on the match, we cannot. There isn't any team that can be a hundred percent all the time, all the ninety-five minutes, uh, without doing uh, some tactical mistakes. These mistakes this is part of football. Um, unfortunately, was on the end or almost on the end of the the game. Um, but this happens now. We need to solve these small details, not only for uh, the next match, but also for the other match. And uh, uh, we have one more week to prepare this uh, this next match against Viborg. And looking in the next week uh, in Viborg, uh, what do you think? What do you need to change tactically to? Uh, because you know it's uh, zero to one to Viborg, and of course you'll need to equalize at least so what do you need to to do in order to maybe have more possession or more attacks more chances than today when we are losing one nil on the match we need to be very careful what the tactical missions that we will do or the ta the new tactical missions that we will put for the team because when you are uh, only losing one nil at any moment you can score one goal by a, a ball situation or a, or a free kick or a corner or a penalty. So, um, of course, we will uh, do some changes because it's, it, is, uh, it is normal. But we need to understand if on the minute 85, the game, the game it is 0-0 on, on Viborg, we could have more five minutes or ten minutes to enter again on the on the on the match because the result it is only uh, one nil for Viborg. So we need to be um, we need to be very smart on these kind of situations. We cannot uh, put uh, uh, five forwards and after concede one goal or two goals and finish finish the round for us. So we need to be smart. We need to be careful, and we need to understand the moments of the game because these types of game. Sometimes the details make the difference. Uh, we're happy to win. Uh, it's the first international European game for the club for, I think, 22 years. Uh, so we're happy to win uh, away with 1-0. And uh, happy to score a goal against a well-organized team that uh, when opponents um, Tactically, defensively, make a plan like Sudova made today. It's uh, not that easy to create chances. It's not that easy to score goals. Uh, but we had the patience and uh, finally also had the quality to, to make an important goal. Talking about Sudova's defense, it was very compact. 
uh, you mentioned that it was very hard to find spaces yeah. to find to create chances. But uh, looking at the uh, next game, you play at home. What do you need to do in order to to create more? I mean, uh, yeah, we don't. Uh, if we can keep the opponent away, like we also did today, that was a bit at the end. But rather from that. If we look at the complete game picture, I felt we had a, a good control of the game. Uh, of course, we had to be aware of the transitions against us. Uh, and now we are up 1-0. Uh, so let's see if Sudova, they are going to attempt the game in a different way or the same way. And uh, if it's the same way, then at least we have practiced that part of the game for 90 minutes now. Um, and we know it's uh, tough to to break uh, to break them down